Uh, today, on Friday, May 21st of 2010, Mission Free Iran will be interviewing Mr. Hamid Takfai about the Al-Kurdistan strike that took place last week on May 15th in protest against the May 9th executions by the regime of uh, five political prisoners, Farz al-Kamangar, Shirin al Amhuli, Farhad Vakili, Ali Hedarian, and Mehdi Islamian. Mr. Takvai is the leader of the Work Worker Communist Party of Iran, uh, which was a key supporter of the initial call for the strike issued by Komala, uh, the Kurdistan organization of the Communist Party of Iran. Uh, Mr. Takvai had a, an important role in the communist movement in Iran after the revolution. Um, he was a longtime friend and comrade of Mansur Hekmat and was a founder of a uh, Union of Communist Militants. Uh, as well as the communist movement, which was known as revolutionary Marxism at that time. Uh, Mr. Takvai was also a co-founder of the uh, Communist Party of Iran. And my name is uh, Maria Rohali. Um, Mr. Takvai, it's very nice to meet you, and I'd like to thank you for speaking with us today uh, about the strikes in Kurdistan last week and their implications for the ongoing uprising in Iran. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. Um, I guess we can just uh, get started with the questions. Um, uh, the first thing we'd like to, uh, to ask you um, uh, has to do with the fact that we've seen about a year's worth of significant street protests in Iran, um, which the Islamic regime has had a great deal of difficulty in repressing. Um, these protests have demonstrated that the regime is not capable of controlling people's opposition to it. Um, yet on the 22 uh, of Bakman, it seemed that the regime in Iran somehow prevented the demonstrations from taking the proportions that were expected. Um, but subsequently, on May 15th, we saw something new happening in Iran, specifically in Kurdistan. Um, for the first time, we saw that the left has taken uh, leadership of a new form of protest. Um, and both the leadership and the form of protest um, seem to have proven their effectiveness. Um, and thus would seem to be a new beginning in the struggle against the Islamic regime um, after a period of about 12 months of uprising. Um, can you talk about uh, what the implications are of both the new form of protest as well as uh, this new leadership from the left for the movement in Iran as a whole? Yeah, first let me point out this, that uh, that execution was, an, in, in a sense, was a new a new thing in, in the uh, uh, political uh, uh, frame of that we, uh, what is happening in Iran in the last uh, year. Okay. It was a new thing in in, this, in a sense that for the first time, regime executed political prisoners and declared that that okay. they are uh, 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 hanged because uh, they were, as you know, those sort of regimes called their opponents. That they were uh, 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 against the national security. Yeah. They were terrorists. That sort of thing. Okay. Of course, up to now, regime executed many of its political uh, opponents, but always under the other names. Okay. Or didn't didn't declare that. But this time, the regime did that, and they thought that this way they're gonna uh, intimidate the whole society and. Uh, 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 make their position stronger, but it was completely the opposite way. Mm. It was not only Kurdistan, all over Iran, even in, in Europe, in, in the West, mm -hmm. Iranians, uh, 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 immigrants in the West, uh, they came out with a very strong and aggressive uh, protest mm -hmm. against those executions. What happens in, happened in Kurdistan was unique in the terms that for the first time, we had a general strike. I don't remember. I mean, in the last 30 years, from the very first day that Islamic Republic came to power, we never had a general strike in any city even. Yeah. But let alone in a big state in Kurdistan, it was a very successful general strike mm -hmm. against that. Why that thing happened, there are two main factors. First of all, is that Kurdistan, because of its uh, experience and its uh, history during the last three decades always been against Islamic Republic from the very first day mm -hmm. when, when that regime came to power they they, uh, they 
uh, attacked Kurdistan with the military forces twice. Okay. In uh, 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 1358, uh, 79, and in 80, uh, uh, 1980, they, 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 they attacked Kurdistan, and it, they, they, uh, it was a very big armed resistance against the Islamic Republic. Mm -hmm. And uh, from that point, leftist groups and communists had a very big influence in, in the society in Kurdistan. That was the history that always Kurdistan, they had uh, always, they, they always been against the whole regime. Okay. They never supported this or the other faction of the regime. Mm -hmm. They were against Khatami, Musavi, every, and they didn't have anything to do with whoever that had a role in, in this regime during the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. So the mood and the political psychology of the people, you can say, was very different in Kurdistan. Yeah. And on the other hand, uh, the communists had a big influence and uh, social base in, in that state. Those two factors helped to have that general strike as a successful action uh, in protest of those uh, those executions. That the implication is that I think they, they just uh, uh, showed the whole people in Iran that it's possible. It can be done. Now that the, the, everybody speaks of, uh, is talking about the strike mm -hmm. in, in workers' movement, in students' movement, in Tehran, in all over the Iran. Mm -hmm. Now strike is something which everybody thinks about it, and somehow they are preparing themselves to do the same thing that people in Kurdistan did. So that's, that's actually a turning point, I think, in the, move, in the last year movement. Okay. 